Why do you think it is? Because it seems that there's more success in love on the spin-off shows yeah. to The Bachelor than, the, than there are the main show. Is it because it's the second time the guys have done it? They're less nervous? What do you think the reason is? The reason is absolutely because you're living together and you have 24-7 to get to know each other rather than an eight-hour date every three weeks. Right. And, and you have people there, like I had Ben Higgins there, who I know I know knows Ashley well. So if I had a question or a concern or if I was having a bad day, it's like you have friends that are not necessarily trying to date the same person as you in the house. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, I know my experience in The Bachelorette, it was hard to really relate to the guys because they're all trying to date your girlfriend. Um, but here it was more friendly. You know, when, when we're not together, it's, I'm with my friends that are helping me get through it. But it, it is quite a test. I mean, you have no mobile phones in there, right? right. You're disconnected Nothing. to the outside world. You just have each other and people that you didn't really choose to go into a house with. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a test, if anything. It is more like, well, that's what's so amazing is the connections and the relationships that we form in those houses are stronger than any other friendship that you form outside in the quote real world, outside yeah. the bachelor bubble, because all you have is communication to entertain you. So you get to know each other really quickly in a very short amount of time. Yeah, from breakfast till you know 2 a.m. snacks, we're just yeah. laying around all day talking all day, so you get close really fast. I think what it says actually to people watching this is that if you give somebody a chance, because you know if you guys didn't, if you didn't give Ashley a second chance or you didn't take a second chance, you wouldn't be standing here now. But because you was living there and you was learning about each other it may not have, may not have been at first but it happened in the end my mom always says go on three dates with someone before you cancel them out so i'm lucky and i'm thinking that if you are living in the bachelor house in like a paradise or winter games environment then yeah you basically you have to give them days and days you do three days in one day pretty much when together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so where do you go from here where do you see this going uh, I feel this was kind of our first step to get behind us, right? Uh, now we're free to do whatever we want. She's taking me to Disneyland. That's a big one for me. Amazing. I'm such a tourist out here in L.A. Um, yeah, um, I think we're just excited. to. We have a couple trips planned. I think we're just excited to go back and forth for a little bit and, and have some fun together for sure. You should try Universal Studios too, where our set is. Okay. Uh, we are we are coming to visit yours that night. Yes. Like. Oh, amazing. There yeah. you go. <laughs> um, right, we're asking everybody this tonight. The first thing that comes to your head, please don't think. So one regret you did or you said on the winter games i should have took her on the first date oh, um um <laughs> darn it my i don't have any regrets anything you said or did um i wish i can come up with an you answer had a flawless for you. performance <laughs> i mean i wish i had maybe practiced skiing before i went to the winter maybe, games i practiced skating i went during thanksgiving you practiced skating yes before? yes yeah. i went to the rink two weeks before i left your instructor better be fired i mean i didn't have an instructor <laughs> i mean i just went round and round at our local rink <laughs> okay um one more thing so i'm gonna say a question the first person from the bachelor winter games that comes to your head okay who thing. is who is the funniest? Dean. Who is the sexiest? Benoit. Who is the most conceited? Con conceited? Jordan. Who is the most conceited? Conceited. Jordan. Who who would be first out if everybody in the house could vote them out? Ooh, who would be first out if everyone could vote them out? Um, Jordan. Guys, thank you so much. You have a great, great life together. Thank you. Hopefully. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.